Hey, what's going on guys? Dan Edgington, Landscape Architect. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So one of the things that I don't talk about too much in my videos is drainage. And so a lot of times people use uh, four inch pipe to come off of gutters, off of the roof lines, and then they'll even catch, um, they'll catch some surface water from the landscape into that same four inch pipe, which really kind of overloads the pipe and overwhelms it. And depending upon how long the pipe is, it can be really too much water for, you know, a 25 to 50 or 100 year storm. And we get a lot of um, we get a lot of really heavy rainfall here in Georgia, especially you know late spring, summertime, and then back into late fall. So this is a small little four-inch drain we're doing out of, a, out, of, out of an elbow, just to catch some surface runoff. Nothing nothing major. But we're running a four-inch pipe, but we're connecting it to a six-inch pipe, and then we're bringing that six-inch pipe up to a four-inch gutter line. But that will allow the water to flow a lot more freely, and allow a lot more volume of water to be put underground. So we're gonna be running six inch pipe all the way down here and down into the landscape. And we'll show you later on how that's gonna work. But it's really important to just to realize that if you don't use, um, if, you, if you try to use a lot of four inch pipe on a, on a project, especially one pipe, that you might wind up having gutter uh, soffit damage because the gutters will back up and you don't want that. So anyway, I see that really often actually in a lot of products that we've seen, a lot of building soffit damage just because the drainage hasn't been done properly. So just wanted to show you guys um, why it's important to use six inch pipe rather than four inch to catch several different gutters. And um, it just allows for more volume of water, okay? Whew, out of breath. You guys have a great day, bye.